to construct a bar chart with StatCrunch. We're going to start with that graph menu up at the top of the screen and then select bar plot. It gives bar charts a slightly different name. So bar plot and then we're going to select the option for with summary. So there's also a with data option but typically what we use is this with summary option. And that will generate a window that looks like this. We'll first select the column that our categories are in. So this will be a column with labels, names, numbers that represent you know, a category, not our actual data. And then the number of counts will be our actual data or number of times each of those labels occurred. Uh, that's really, those are the two settings that are required. Then we have the option to change order by. And this is where we can change this to some of the options we talked about on the first page. We can change it to order by worksheet, meaning it will be forced to follow the order we have in our spreadsheet. Um, by count ascending, count descending, if we want to arrange things from smallest to tallest, tallest to smallest. And then there's some property options if you want to make your graph look a little bit fancier. So what we want to do is take this data below, in this case the number of UFO sightings per state, cumulative as of 2012, at least as reported by this website, construct a bar chart for this information. To save myself some time, I already have this information typed into StatCrunch. So I have one column that's just the names, in this case abbreviated names, of each of the individual states, and then the number of UFO sightings for each of those states. So we'll select the graph menu, bar plot, and then with summary. In this case, my categories are in the variable one column. So that first column, my counts, my actual numbers that I'm gonna compare are in variable two. <clears throat> And in this case, that's all we need to change for right now. <clears throat> Actually, no, let's change one more thing. Let's change order by to worksheet. That way it's gonna force the bar chart to stay in this exact same order that I have here. So Illinois will be listed first, Wisconsin listed last. So that's all we need to do to construct our bar chart. And then we can start talking about interpretations, center, um, sorry, mode and variability. Or if we want to tell a slightly different story with our information, we could change the order to count ascending. So now we're going to get that ordering from smallest to largest. Here there's no chronological order to our different states. So in this case, it might be more interesting to have that information ordered from smallest to tallest, tallest to smallest. If we go back to the options screen, we can change this to count descending. If we want to start with that tallest value, and work our way down. So again, it comes down to the information you want to present and what you want that ordering to be. But it's as simple as selecting our two data sets and clicking compute, changing some ordering if you want.